Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Hila here. Hila at home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the ordinary buffet plus copper peptides, a review, and I'm briefly going to explain what are copper peptides, why they are beneficial for skin care, why I actually chose this particular copper peptide what i thought about it i've used it for three months the bottle is now empty so do stay tuned i was slow to jump onto the peptides bandwagon because there are literally hundreds of peptides out there pentapeptides tripeptides hexapeptides you name it they have it literally over a hundred each and every single peptide was promising the fountain of youth so i did what i had to do i rolled up my sleeves dived in deep to find out what peptides are, what they do, and whether they will be beneficial for my skincare routine. So just as a disclaimer, I do have a reasonably decent basic skincare routine that I have been practicing since I was 38 years old. I am now 40 years, nearly about to turn 41 years, and I have seen the benefits of creating a skincare routine and actually sticking to it. But I've gotten to the point now where I've got a decent baseline and I am looking for products to add on to that. And that's where this uh, buffet plus copper peptides comes in. So just what the heck are peptides? Well, peptides are short strings of amino acids and amino acids are the building blocks of protein. And those are the things that you find in collagen and elastin, which as we know is the magic stuff that keeps the skin firm and elastic. And that's basically what most beauty products are promising to give you, especially when they use things like anti-wrinkle and anti-aging. And like most beauty products that are created in labs to mimic the jobs of natural substances, we actually have some peptides that occur naturally within our bodies. I mean, the whole point of beauty care is actually trying to find out those things in our bodies that keep our skin plump, firm, elastic, and then they try to recreate that in a lab in a way that you can then buy, pay for, and stick onto your face. And so that's what peptides are. They are broadly four types of peptides, and I'm just going to go through them very briefly and in no particular order. The four broad types are carrier peptides, neurotransmitter peptides, signal peptides, and enzyme inhibitor peptides. So number one, carrier peptides. Tides. Basically, they deliver trace elements like copper and magnesium to the skin, which help to synthesize the production of collagen that actually helps to improve elasticity on the skin. Typical examples would be uh, the Ordinary's Buffet plus copper peptide solution, which happens to be what we're talking about today. Number two, enzyme inhibitor peptides work by inhibiting the process that actually breaks down the natural collagen that exists in our bodies. They do that by inhibiting the type of enzyme that degrades the collagen. A serum like Osmotic Blue Copper 5 Prime Perfecting Serum is a typical example of an enzyme inhibiting peptide. Next up is the neurotransmitter peptide and they have been sold as the Botox in a bottle because they inhibit muscle contraction. The logic behind that is that you can't form those wrinkle lines if you can't use the muscle itself. An example of a neurotransmitter peptide is the Ordinary's Azure Lane solution. And then we have the signal proteins, which basically signal the cells to do a particular job. In this case, they signal the cells to produce elastin and collagen, which is what is required to keep your skin nice, firm, and healthy. An example of a signal peptide is the Ordinary's Matrixol Solution 10% plus Hyaluronic Acid. Apart from encouraging the increase in collagen synthesis through various different ways, whether that's by inhibiting uh, degradation of collagen or by making the skin go super active with producing the collagen, peptides are supposed to have other benefits, especially with the copper peptides. They are supposed to be anti-inflammatory and that tends to be a major cause of premature aging. They also help to heal scars by getting rid of the extra large damaged collagen that you tend to find in scars. 
and they also help to heal wounds. And they also encourage the production of enzymes that are beneficial to overall skin's health as well as the good things that increase and improve the skin's barrier. So that's a brief overview of what peptides are, especially copper peptides, and what they do and why they would be beneficial. So when it came to choosing the peptide solution that I wanted to try, I basically stayed away from the enzyme inhibitors because guess what? Those ones are super expensive. The neurotransmitter peptides, they claim to have this you know, muscle inhibition uh, process. However, if truth be told, if they did work like Botox, then nobody would have a wrinkle or a line on their forehead. Plus, I did try the Azurelin solution very early on when I started using the Ordinary products three years ago, and it just didn't do anything. There was no relaxation of any muscle. So that left with this signal peptide, which is the Buffet plus copper peptides from the Ordinary. Now, I'm somebody who likes to get bang for my buck, and with this particular product, you're getting a lot of peptides for your money. Plus, it's got hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant. Humectant is just a fancy word for saying something that attracts moisture from the air and allows it to sit on your skin. And we know that as long as your skin is getting all of the moisture that it needs, number one and foremost, skin will just look amazing and great. And this particular serum has got two hyaluronic acid compounds in it, so it is packing a super hydrating punch for my skin. And for the price compared to the other copper peptides that were on the market at the time, you can't beat it for the value. Hyaluronic acid can hold up to a thousand times its weight in moisture. It took me just a little over three months to finish this bottle. I was using this copper peptide in the mornings after I had cleansed my face and I used my vitamin C serum. Then I would put this onto my face and then I would finish off with a moisturizer using the 100% plant-derived squalane from The Ordinary. The reason why I preferred to use the vitamin C first was that the vitamin C serum that I was using was more watery, it was water-based and it would just sink into my skin straight away without leaving any tackiness. This one, it does leave a little bit of tackiness for a few minutes whilst it's being absorbed in the skin. So I found that it was better for me to do the vitamin C first. Disclaimer, the website, the ordinary website does say that you shouldn't be using this with any other direct actives, but for my skin, it was working. I have pretty resistant skin because I can still use tretinoin at night and I was still able to use this without any adverse reactions. Do check the website first and always do a patch test before you try it. I'm sharing with you what worked for my skin. So the Buffy Plus Copper Peptides comes in this uh, brown bottle with an applicator and as you can see it's a slightly bluish liquid the design is very sleek and very practical and very pretty to look at i quite liked the blue color now there aren't any fragrances that have been added to the formulation it does have a very slight it's a very slight fragrance to it and those are just the ingredients and you can't get away from that certain ingredients will have a certain smell to them i did find that the smell didn't last super long at all at most it was five minutes within five minutes the smell would be gone because you're only using about a drop or two and i found that that could spread really well over my face i find that one of the best ways to find out if a product is working for you is to stop using it and actually see whether there's any difference in your skin. What I found was that the difference was quite marginal. The biggest difference was in how quickly the acne that I had around my chin was healing from my very bad habit of picking at it. It's a habit that I am working on as part of my 2021 goals, but I did find that when I was using the copper peptide, those acne scars were healing a heck of a lot faster, and even the wounds that I was causing from just picking, uh, which I shouldn't be doing actually, I shouldn't have to rely on a serum to deal with that, and that's something that I've been working on, and I've just managed to clear a serious bout of hormonal acne that I got on my chin. So in terms of that, I did find that it was quite useful. 
But truthfully speaking, I shouldn't just be touching my face anyway. And currently I've managed to clear this off even though I haven't been using this because this finished um, about a month ago. And I also found that the spots that I had on my face that I would like pinch and, and pull, the spots that would normally get really red and inflamed because I was just pulling and pinching at them, when I would use this, they would look less inflamed, less red. So it was quite beneficial in that way. But again, we come back to the fact that, you know, one of the best things that you can do for your skin is to not constantly touch your face and not constantly touch your skin with your hands. And once I stopped doing that, my face was so much better. When it comes down to it, would I recommend this? I honestly wouldn't bother too much with the copper peptides. And here's the reason why. I think that if you've got a solid skincare routine with a morning and nighttime routine and you're including in there a retinol or a tretinoin or some sort of a direct acid as well as an antioxidant like a vitamin C serum, you're going to see that those are going to produce the biggest benefits to your skin along with things like drinking loads of water, taking your omega-3 supplementation, and just keeping your hands off of your face. The benefits of this, I found them to be marginal for the price that I had to pay for it. And I went down the bargain route because you can get really expensive copper peptides. However, if money isn't a concern for you and you've got all of your bases covered, you've got a good retinol, a tretinoin for your night time, you've got a great direct acid, you've got a vitamin C serum, and you've got that sorted and you kind of do want to just take it just that little bit further and get like a 1% or 2% gain, then absolutely do go and uh, get this. At this moment in time, based on all of the research that I have done, I'm not convinced that everybody needs to have a copper peptide in their skincare routine. But if you do decide that you want to dip your waters in to try out the copper peptides, then I think that the ordinary buffet plus copper peptides is definitely the way to go without breaking the bank because it contains quite a huge amount of the copper peptides that you would generally find in the other more expensive serums, especially if you're going to go for the signal. Uh, peptides. So as I said, I haven't been using this for well over a month now. The decision that I have come to is that I need to go try the ordinary, uh, just the buffet serum by itself because the only difference between that buffet and this one is that this one has got the 1% concentration of the copper peptides. And given the steep hike in price between the buffet and the one with the copper peptides, I am not sure that that is justifiable for the very minor improvements that I saw in my skin. And it was very helpful in reducing the consequences of a really bad habit when I was picking at the acne, of which the best thing was just to leave it alone. I cannot justify the cost at all. But as I said, if money is no concern and you feel like you wanna, you, you're, you're at that point where you're looking for marginal, like tiny marginal gains to your skincare routine, then absolutely do go for that. Otherwise, do try the buffet first. I will be back in a few months to let you know how I get on with the buffet. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, if you found it useful, and entertaining and you learned something new today then please do give it a big thumbs up down below hit me up with any questions that you may have and i will see you in the next video guys take care now bye